Hey friends, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to episode seven of Jewelry Detectives. So today we have our uh, panel members, Angie of Treasured Vintage. And we also have Monica from Keeping It Real with the Millers. And our special guest today is Donna Wester of Cat's Meow here on YouTube. So um, Angie, do you have any uh, great sales or jewelry that you wanna share? Uh, I have some jewelry that I want to share. Uh, I, I don't know. I was feeling like since I put my tree up and I've just been decorating like crazy. It's so um, cute. I love it. Just the little one. The big one's better. But anyway, I just felt like um, festive, like getting the fancy jewelry out. So this is in my shop. I don't know if you can see, but it has like stones in it. And it's just like kind of like icicles. Hang oh, down. it's so pretty. I love it. So there's that, that's in my shop. It's very well made. Um, it actually has an extender you can take off and on. Um, and then there's this awesome, very gorgeous ring. Oh, that's pretty. One of my very favorites. Oh, it's it's gotten so many um, likes and stuff that no one's bought it yet. But man, every time I put it on, I'm like, why am I kidding that? It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Is the band on the bottom gold? Yeah, yes, oh, okay. very, very well made piece. Pretty. Yeah. It's it's gold plated and it's you know, uh, CZs or whatever or rhinestones, whatever. But it's very well made. Yeah, I love the two tone jewelry like that that um, incorporates the silver and the gold. I know, I do too. So pretty. And then this uh, a stretchy bracelet. Can you believe? I cannot I like believe it. what I'm seeing and hearing. <laughs> I know. Stretchy back to it. But it's a cute one. It has a it is cute. scattered rhinestone bow on it. It's gold ten. So I would I would definitely rock that at the holidays or Oh know. yeah. I personally I love stretchy bracelets. <laughs> it depends on the one, you know. Right. Um if they're unique enough, I like them too. Oh, I got a raven. Raveling. <laughs> <laughs> got more than that going on there, but we won't talk about that. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm not done. I got these awesome blingy earrings. Yeah, these are Signer. I meant to, I meant to look, and look those up and read you about the Signer company, but they're very good uh, costume jewelry maker uh, okay. from, from the 60s and 70s. And, uh, they are, they're awesome, those earrings. Very nicely made, very pretty. They're very so. clean. I like them. Um, Debbie right. in the chat says, how dare you, Angie, <laughs> about the stretchy bracelet? I know. So not me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Monica, you want to do some shout-outs in the chat? Yeah, I'll do some shout-outs. Uh, Libby, 56 lady, was first. So hello. And then Nelville W. And let's see who else is here. Patty Feb is here, Crafty Reseller's here, Debbie and Max going thrifting's here, Yvonne's here, Princess Casserole's here, Kim KM Riggs 100's here, Swamp Picker's here. Oh, everybody's here. I know, oh, there's so many here. Erin Marcus is here, Don is here. <laughs> Old to new treasures here. I think I got everybody. Hope I didn't awesome. miss anybody. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Monica, did you want to share anything at all? So I got um, a little special gift. Um, there's a lady I bought a bunch of stuff from uh, the summer and she was leaving to go away from here for the winter because it's getting cold. And so she had this one piece that she was kind of hanging on to and she's like, well, I want to sell it to you. So I got this piece Ooh, for $15 and it's a, I think it's a listener. Yep. Listener. Listener. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. So that was my little score that I got. So I'm excited to learn a little bit more about it but yeah it just needs to be cleaned up just a little bit but all the stones are there and otherwise yeah it's a nice little yeah. piece so i think listener is a good good brand isn't it angie mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a good dark. It, it depends on the piece, but yeah, it's, it's a nice brand. Carla says she has a similar necklace. I don't know if it's a... Kathleen said, is it a choker style? Okay, I have to be careful because I don't want to break out. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we will get started with our guest, Donna. So Donna has brought some jewelry to share with us, and we are excited to see what she has. Okay, well, I'm going to start with uh, these two I got at a yard sale. Actually, it's just one pair. And I thought they were super cute. I hope you can see them. Kind of, there's one. Yeah. You know? Up a little bit. They're, they're cute. There you go. Okay, well, there's one. Um, it's a Christmas bulb, and I think it's um, handmade. They they put a bow on it and some uh, um, holly berries and a little bit of uh, this felt. Can you um, hold it up a little bit, a little bit higher? There is two of them. They're well, so cute. You are. Guys. Nice these up for like 50 cents and um i forgot what i'm selling them for so uh you can go over to my store and Luke's corner they're being sold on ebay oh they're kind of cute i'm surprised they haven't sold yet <laughs> they are cute so if you guys would like to check out donna's ebay store her her user id over there is boots corner and i'll probably bring up her store here in a minute okay and there's, there's two of them. Very cute. All right. Um, let's see. What, what do I have next? Next, I have this um, pen. It looks like a poinsettia. That's I saw that in your store. That is, that is pretty. So it's, it's a pen. See, there's a thin part, but um, yeah, I really like this. And like, this is another one. I'm surprised it's not sold yet. Does that one have any markings on it at all? Not that I can tell. I don't. Um, I'm really not into the jewelry, jewelry as you guys are with <laughs> the, the whatever it is, the tools. <laughs> I'm more of a clothing seller. <laughs> But that's uh, great that you're also selling some jewelry too. Yeah. Uh, um, what else do I have? I have these cute little, I want to call them like snowflakes. They are They're clip-ons. I love those. So if you know anyone who likes clip-ons. I have some similar to that too. Do you sell on Etsy? No, I don't. Those are probably They're, do good over there too. I thought yeah. that was very good, uh, what you put in your description about snowflakes and, uh, you know, you, you added the Christmas theme to your um, title. Now, mm -hmm. I think that's a great idea because, like, even in the summer, you could just put something like cool, you know, crisp white crisp. earrings. You know, you can, you can add your, you can add little keywords to your title to make it seasonal kind of and yeah. uh, I noted that about yours that they look like little snowflakes and we put that in there yeah. and they're really cute they do look like snowflakes Donna do you have any headphones um, the people in the chat are saying it's kind of like you sound a little muffled it's hard to hear you with some of your background noise oh okay um, yeah do. hold on tangled Gonna take me here. Really can. Is that better? That is better. Seems like it. 
I think you have to talk so we can hear it. <laughs> okay, can you still hear me now? Yes. Is it better? Uh-huh. Okay. Now these I picked up, I don't know where, I don't know what's the thrift store, but uh, they're like, uh, almost kind of like paper mache. And they're quite long and they are also clip-ons. Like somebody made those, huh? Yeah. And they're they're not the same, either one of them. They're regular. Yeah. Um, they're interesting. Somebody. Okay. somebody. It's like the color. They're purple. Monica, who likes purple? <laughs> purple <laughs> and teal. They're jewel tint colors, it looks like. Yeah. Um, Donna, do you, I hate to keep bugging you, but do you by chance have like a piece of, um, like a printer paper? I was about to say typing paper, but people these days probably don't know what typing paper is. I still call it typing paper. <laughs> well, you could hold up um, for the back of your pictures. Dwayne says I'm running out of room on my wall. Is that, is that working? <laughs> oh, that's a lot better, I think. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's, that works. So Sorry, Donna, I can't see you now, though, but... <laughs> Hello, Donna. There you are. <laughs> Here I am. Hey, peekaboo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. I was gonna so say bad. you might want to add the word like abstract art, maybe to that listing. What do you guys think? Because it kind of looks like abstract to me. It does. Definitely does. Yeah. Uh, kind of hard to hold them and hold the paper at the same time. <laughs> So should I go on to the next one, or am I running sure. too fast? <laughs> no, you're doing great. Okay. Um, the next piece I have is a rope. Well, it looks rope. It's more of a metal um, bracelet, but it's like the um, design of a rope. Yeah, that's pretty. Just a simple bangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it signed? You probably don't know. Do you, do you know that I don't know. It's it's you know I picked this up at a thrift store. I wouldn't even know where where to look for whether it was signed or not. That Wayne makes me like, wonder if some more of your pieces might be signed, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> even if you have a little magnifying glass, you can check. Okay. You don't have to have a loop or anything fancy. That's true. There's that, and then this is a kind of a fancy, I forgot what the design of this was, but it has um, has a couple crystals on it. Oh, that's um, really pretty. Like a leaf. It's a I was looking at that in your store. I was this looking is, at that. Is there any, is there any stones missing? No, there are no stones missing. At least I don't think there is. Do you use a flash for your pictures? No, I don't. Okay. Just wonder. I think her pictures are really good on eBay. I think my husband has the uh, the monitor turned up super bright for his games or something. Because I was looking <laughs> on the desktop. Oh. I was like, I didn't. I think he did that. Lost messing with me. I just stick to my computer. Is he a gamer, Angie? Oh, he plays like hunting games and yeah, he, I mean, not not to not a gamer, but he likes to call him sometimes. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a, I think I paid like maybe five dollars for this at, at a thrift store, so it's, it's kind of up there. So he did I, say that's Premier Designs. What was that? Did you say that was Premier Designs in your list? I think so, yeah. Sorry, Tanya, I keep interrupting you. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. So I want to pick your brain, Angie. So a lot of us who collect and sell jewelry, I don't know about you guys, but I have acquired a ton of leaf uh, brooches. Me too. So is there like a certain time period where those were really popular? Was it in the 50s or when would you say? Yeah, I would say in the 50s. The 50s, yeah. It must be because that's, that's all of mine are mid-century. And probably from the 50s, 60s. There's a lot of earrings, there's a lot of brooches, uh, even 
even necklaces that had the leaves around, uh, chokers and bracelets. I mean, it, it must have been a big thing, yeah. But you don't right. see it anymore. No. And but so, yeah, a ton. I'm thinking you could also use the word antique, Donna, <laughs> because for something to be an antique, it's got to be like 50 years and older or older, right? Uh, for the uh, well, the premier design, I think that's kind of new. Yeah. I think that's kind of newer. That's a newer. Somebody wants to see yeah. it again. I don't think they came out to the uh, 70s. Okay, I'm not sure. You could definitely say vintage. Can mm -hmm. you show it again? Uh, sure. really has the vintage look though, very much. Aaron Marcus says he takes pictures and then he's found a magnifying app that works very fairly well to check for hallmarks and signatures. So I don't know if you guys have heard of that before, but. Yeah, if you have an iPhone, if you, um, if you like double tap this three times, a magnifying uh, glass app will automatically come up and you can take pictures with it too once you zoom in and get that close up. Oh, Double wow. tap it three times. <laughs> That's the same for uh, was Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be open when you do it? Um, wait, what? What do you mean open? You said to get the magnifying app? Okay, so watch. So one, two, three. It should come up. Yeah, see it came up. See, that's what it looks like. Oh. And yeah, yeah Ed is the one that uh, that I found that out from actually watching one of his videos. He, uh huh. Um, and you can slide it to zoom if you, you can want. Take a picture of it while you're looking at it. Mm hmm. I wasn't doing it. I might not have to play with it. <laughs> I don't have an iPhone, so the Android doesn't work on that. <laughs> oh, I bet you the Android has an app, a free app that you could use. Okay, well, I'll have to play with that. My next piece, the um, coloring on the website did come out as clear. I can do this. Uh -oh. I may not be able to because it's the, the choker. Change. Um, is that working better? Do you have a light on your desk, maybe like a desk lamp? It's it's above me. Oh, okay. And I have my umbrella next to me. Maybe it's too close. Do you have two lamps on? Yeah, I do. Maybe turn your desk lamp off. <laughs> is that better? No. Nope. <laughs> I think it's a little bit better. You could try maybe, yeah, I don't know. Is that better with the white? A little I bit. love that. It's like a charm necklace or something. No, it's a choker. Uh-huh. And on on the on uh, in the store it came out that some of the the um these hanging things came out kind of looking black or tarnished. And it's not. <laughs> huh. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Just take different. I'll just take a whole new set of pictures if that ever happens. Yeah. That's, that was kind of tough taking pictures with the jewelry anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a learning curve taking jewelry pictures. That's why I prefer clothes. That was it's so funny. Everybody has their <laughs> own little thing that they like. Well, it's really pretty. It is. I don't know who has such a small neck. I mean, there is a, a sizing chain here. They can make it, make it longer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can have it that big. Around. What kind of price do you have on it? I don't. I don't. I think it's around twenty-four. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'd wear something like that. So, 
for, for sale on, on, on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one you have in your store with the chains, the multiple chains. I've never seen one like that. The tassels. All the tassels, the yeah. With the, all the different little tassels on it. So everybody says they're having a hard time seeing her. So we have a couple options. You could turn off the umbrella light and turn on your desk light and just hold the pieces up closer. Or you could try to move your umbrella light so it's like in front of you actually. I can't. I have a wall in front of me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. When I do these videos, it's like kind of so turn the umbrella light yeah, that's off. That's yep. good, whatever yep. you just did. Yeah, that's better. Yep. So you can see, I'm just going to hold up a piece that I've already done. You can see that. It's right. <laughs> yeah, I think that's better. Don't Is you that better? And I think if you just go closer to the camera. Like that? Yeah. Okay. I'll try to remember. You're doing great. <laughs> Okay, I have this heart shape. If I can, uh, it's very pretty. A heart, is it showing? Yeah, that's a lot bigger than what it looks like in your store. Okay, but you do have the measurements there, and most of the yep. your measurements are in your uh, title, so that's good. Yes, I do try to, you know, get everything in there. And um, I forgot what size chain it's on. Let's say about 12, 18. Yeah, that's really pretty. So I'm kind of hoping it goes like for Valentine's Day or Christmas. Yeah, I really like that. Do you ever use a magnet to test out your jewelry to see if it sticks or not? No, I don't have any of that around. Um, that will help you kind of um, decide whether it's roll if it's gold or not. Not necessarily okay. always, but you know it's a good clue. Yeah. Okay. And then we have a question here in the chat from bunch of carrots. Ask, what can you assume when you see tarnish on jewelry? I don't think you can assume anything except I want to clean that off there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes if the, you can tell if, if it's tarnished and you can just tell it's like, you know, massive produced jewelry, like, you know, from the dollar store or something, you can just yeah, tell it it's depends. cheap. It depends on the piece. If you see a silver piece that has tarnish on it. That's true. There's a, there's a nice good chance that it's silver, not real like mm -hmm. sterling. But if you see gold tone that has tarnish on it, then no, that's... That's probably something that you don't want to pick up because yep. if there's tarnish on gold tone, it's not going to get any better. It's, it's not going to polish off. You know, it's just tarnished. Great um, tip, That's the way I think anyway. There, now, there might be something that's tarnished that's worth a bunch of money. I don't know. But I haven't come across that piece. Oh, wow. Hmm. Well, this is a pin. Quite big. It's got uh, uh -huh. a leaf, a leaf pin, like, hmm, too far away. Flower pin. Mm -hmm. Yep. Again, I got this at a, at a garage sale. Yeah, it almost, look, almost looks like it has a pearl in the middle. Yeah, it, yeah it definitely looks like a pearl, I'd say. I'd say it's a faux pearl. Pretty safe to say that, but you never know. Right. You know how to test to see if it's a real pearl or not? No. Uh, <laughs> you have to bite it? Yeah, yeah. You have to put your, put your teeth on it. Scrape it across your teeth if it's gritty. It's real. If it's smooth, it's uh, fake. But you don't oh. have to do that because no, it's I don't probably think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, I have I call it the the money um, the money necklace because it looks like money. 
Yeah, and coin. I don't know. Go ahead, Tony. Don't talk too much. No, you're not. Be quiet. <laughs> Is See? it coin? <laughs> it's coins. Yeah, and I can't. I don't know whether it's Canadian coins or some other foreign country coins. <laughs> Andy, you talk. I know you love coins. I do love coins. <laughs> yeah, I would call it, I would call it a coin necklace. Uh, and uh, I have coin jewelry right now. I have a ring in my um in my store. Actually, it's not a coin jewelry. It, it just kind of looks like a coin. But um, I I th I find coin jewelry jewelry really interesting, and mm -hmm. uh, some of it has done really good for me. Um, and I think. All in all, this um, they do well, um, so, and I've never yeah. seen that before. I was looking for my little um, panda ring, Angie. Do you remember panda rings? Yes, I do. So I have a little heart one, um, and you know those look like coins. They're really pretty. Yeah, yeah, they are. So you—that's yours, your personal one, huh? Yeah, actually, it was my mom's, and she handed it, passed it on to me, but. When were they popular? Like, was that like in the 80s? Yeah, I think they were. Yeah. I love mine. I would never part with it. It's so pretty. I think I sold one. <laughs> what did you say? I think I might have sold one. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you said stole. I thought so too. Really? Like confession. <laughs> I was like, Angie, what? I mean, really? I know my, I know my Snapchat sh shirt says suddenly, but I, I ain't no stealer. <laughs> no. Somebody wants to know does coin jewelry sell well? And I'm also wondering like like there's a lot of different types of coin jewelry. So how do you know like what is worth picking up and what is worth like I've seen some where it actually looks like the coins in there and you know it's in there really well and then some like what Donna has and then some cheaper. So kind of if you guys have any information on kind of the different types of coin jewelry and what people should Look for and yeah, it does it sell? Angie, <laughs> Tanya, <laughs> uh, I think uh, you know. I I don't think I know to say that it would be a specific coin or I I just go by the look. If it looks yeah. interesting to me, if it looks well made, uh, if it doesn't look cheap, you know, if it. Uh, if it has a, a great design to it and is it has some things design wise going for it i pick it up uh it really doesn't matter to me what the what the coin is if it's canadian if it's uh if it's even a real coin i just if i like the look of it i'll pick it up so right and i agree with exactly what she said i don't know if this all helps but the coins up here near the top are 10. Um, these two here are uh, 20s. And this big one hanging here it says five. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know whether that's dollars. You know how some, you know, the Canadian coin, there's like a, a dollar's worth thing and a loony or whatever that thing is called. <laughs> um, so. So Carla wants to know what about cutout coins? I've sold them before. Uh, a pendant. Uh, I like them. I mean, they're, I haven't come across very many, so I think they're kind of hard to come by. So I was going to say, what's a cutout coin? Like, what do you mean? Um, it will be like open work. Like, um, I think I have had a quarter before, and like it was a buffalo. Mm -hmm. a buffalo quarter or buffalo nickel? I nickel. Guess. <laughs> nickel. Okay. Um, and it will be cut out around the um, around the buffalo, and it'll be all open. And it'll oh, just really? Be, yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I say. You don't see them very often, but um, yeah, I sold a pendant like that. And and if I would see one, I would pick it up. I would. Um, we have another question in the chat from Bunch of Carrots. She says. For a newbie looking at jewelry to buy, what are some things you take into consideration? Well, I know one of the things I always look for is if the piece is signed or hallmarked in any way. 
I'll usually pick it up unless it's, you know, uh, well, let's just face it. I usually pick up anything that has a Hallmark on it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's cheap enough, I just do. So I would look for that and I would carry, you know, a loop with you and a magnet. A magnet, you know, will help you figure out if something's real gold or not. What do you, what do you guys think? I, I would stay away from certain things like uh, beads, you know. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Plastic beads. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Um, oh, cheap bangles like plastic bangles, like maybe the metal ones that are like a, a million little thin ones. Um, you know, certain things like that I would stay away from. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's just a couple of things I can think of right off the top of my head. I know for me getting started, you know, because I do the Disney jewelry, like that's my go to thing. And that's how I started. And so when I switched to like doing regular jewelry, like I would buy anything that had a mark and ended up with a ton of, as my daughter calls it, Avon and jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I ended, I've ended up with a lot of jewelry that I don't like to list. I'm just going to be honest. Like, you know, it's nice pieces, but it's, you know, I didn't know what I was looking for. And so what I've done now is I look for pieces that I love to list. And some of them are marked and some of them aren't, but I love brooches and I love pins. Like that's my go-to like favorite thing. And I've done well with them. And so I think too, if you're looking for things that you like, like what, like I don't wear jewelry cause I'm allergic to the metal, but I think would my mom like this, <laughs> would my mom buy this? Then those are the pieces now that I'm starting to buy. Um, Besides the Disney jewelry, we all know I go crazy with that because that's <laughs> my money maker. <laughs> but um, I'm starting to kind of change it. And so I notice that now when I go, I look for the pieces that really stand out to me as far as like, I think, do I want to list this piece? Because if I don't want to list it, then I shouldn't be buying it. Um, and that's why I have, you know, six totes like this filled with <laughs> <laughs> that's not being listed because it's not my thing you know i can list you know 200 pieces of disney and be very excited about it and I, so that's for me just as a person who has just gotten into it um but then the tips of looking for being the signed i do take my loop now i make sure i'm not buying my avon um <laughs> <laughs> and i do bring a magnet and that has helped me some, um, you know, I'm still learning about the metal and stuff, but yeah, I know now not to, you know, these are not worth anything or, you know, certain bracelets aren't, you know, like these yeah. ones I get, like these aren't really worth anything. And so then but and you get me, some of those things right when you get the jars or you get the lots of stuff, like that's when I end up finding those, so. Right, and for me, metal has always been a challenge. Like I know Angie, <clears throat> really knows her metals, but I'm I don't really know my metals too well. Um, I know enough just enough to get me by basically So Donna, do you have any tips that you might want to offer that you look for when you're out um, sourcing for jewelry? I just kind of like go for the stuff that looks pretty <laughs> Right or yeah. think that It's going to sell <laughs> Yeah, definitely um, that's, that's about it <laughs> like I said, I, I guess to, uh, asked you about the piece that you have in your store that kind of looks like this. Oh yes, yes. Do you have that piece handy or not? Um, Probably not. I can get it. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's okay. I can bring it up on screen share. Okay, yeah, that'll work. work. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mine says, uh, I, I think I got it in a lot. And it, it had this card with it, uh, genuine gemstone pendant. This beautiful pendant is made from genuine Chinese turquoise. Sounds fancy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not real. Real turquoise. Uh, in fact, I knew it wasn't real turquoise, but 
Am I um, screen sharing? Yes. There Sorry, is. Angie, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, Go ahead. I think you went past it. You again. Did I? Went past it. Yeah. I can't talk and, and type at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? Yeah, that's yeah, it there. That's the $8. $8 one. Bring that up. Okay. It looks pretty much like the same thing. Mine I didn't remember. It looks like there's a bird charm. I didn't remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah. There, are, there, there are some charms attached to it. I looked closely at it, and it has these, uh, well, you can't see it on there very good, but it has these veins in it like mine has on it. And uh, someone actually men messaged me on um, Etsy, which I really appreciate sometimes when people message me and let me know things because it really helps me. Just like right now, I can share this about these pieces that look like this with the veins on. He said um, that... Chinese turquoise is dye. It could be dyed magnesite, or uh, it could be dyed pressed chalk with applied veining. And they are just, you know, they are by no means, you know, this fancy turquoise that they're telling me on this card. You know, they're they're not, you know, they're not that special. Put it that way. But um, it's still pretty. And I, and I love the veining on it and everything, and it's a pretty necklace, but, you know, it's something to look out for. If you see something that, that looks like that, it's not real turquoise. Yeah. How do you test it? I don't test it. Is there a way to test turquoise? I don't know. But I, okay. I, I knew this wasn't real because the veining, you just don't really see it that way in turquoise it's more irregular it's more spread out maybe you would say i think uh it's just yeah and yeah it was pretty obvious to me that it was so but anyway i just wanted to share that does that. full turquoise sell or does like compare like is there a difference of how fast like fake turquoise and real turquoise sell I'd say real turquoise would sell better, definitely yeah. sell better than turquoise. Oh, yeah. And I've even picked up pieces, and I've been told that they were called halite. Am I saying yeah. that right? Yeah, maybe that. Maybe that's halite too. I don't know. Yeah, and I think one of the determining factors would probably be the setting, right? So right. if it's like a sterling silver setting, there's a really good chance that that's going to be genuine turquoise. Just like the bangle that you sold. Congratulations, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That was awesome. Was awesome. I was so awesome. excited. I should have asked for more. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a good price. That you That's a good price. I mean, I'm not complaining. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, Donna, sorry, we didn't mean to. Oh, that's okay. Mine actually looks smaller than the one that uh, Angie has. So um, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks. I don't know. They look about the same size. About the same size. Okay. Yours look more bluer. This one here looks more a, a green, a green tinge. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to uh, ask about your um, heart, the puffed heart filigree pendant that you have in your shop too. It has a really nice Rolo chain on it. You you have a a sale going, and you oh, have a big sale, yeah, big sale. Big sale. It ends. Thursday night at midnight. And you also have, uh, you're also accepting best offer. So that's oh. a heck of a deal. <laughs> that that one pendant necklace, can you screen share that? Yeah, oh, yeah. it's gotten. Okay, I'm trying to figure out here. which window I'm in. It's, uh, it's, it's big puffy heart, it's filigree, and then it has a roller chain. Oh, okay, hang on, I see the window. That one there? Yeah. Now that that looks very nice to me. I mean, is that uh, the one you're looking for? Where where did you pick that up at? Oh geez, it was either Salvation Army or uh, another store near me called Thrifty Shop. What does the clasp look like? Let's see, it's uh, is this the right here, Angie? Yeah, yes. that's it. It's mm -hmm. a lobster claw. No, it's a lot. That's right. It's a lobster claw. I was just wondering because it's very, very nice looking necklace. And uh, I would. It does have an extension on it too, so you can make it longer. 
Yeah, it's really pretty. I think someone would buy that for that price. It's very pretty. Is that a little charm hanging right there above the heart to the left? Yep, yep. It's a little charm. Are there any letters on it or anything? No, it's a. Uh, it's almost like it's a rhinestone charm. Okay. Um, you can't open up the heart. The heart does not open up. So it's a uh, um, hollow inside. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you something, Donna. You're running a really big sale on your jewelry right now, um, as much as up to 60% off. So I was just wondering, um, do you ever get offers and people really want to lowball you, even though the item's already uh, on sale so much? Not really. Not, not on the jewelry. On the older clothes that I have that's 55% off, they want it cheaper. I'm like, really? It's already cheap enough. <laughs> it drives me nuts. And I'm too lazy to go back through and change all of my... Um, all of my uh, listings, okay, I need to stop doing other things, <laughs> to change all my other listings to not have best offer, right? So my message to people is, the item is already 50% off. You know, I mean, come on. Right, and they want it cheaper. On me. Do you guys know you can like go and do a bulk edit and turn off um, your all the um, best offers? Yeah. But I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> you know, don't forget. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, Lonnie said that's why he stopped doing best offers. <laughs> yeah, it's just, and then I'll reply like with the same price it's on sale for. And they're probably thinking, what's the matter with her? But, you know, I will, come on. I will reply if it's like, if it's a low ball, I'll put down a penny. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that before too. <laughs> That's a subtle way of saying, you know, Stay it's up. a good price, you know, <laughs> quit haggling with me. Another piece that I thought was pretty cool, I kind of called it the, it's like a religious piece with all the chains coming down under it. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's really unique. I like those types of necklaces too. and. Uh, I've had I have a similar necklace, um, but it, it I've had it I bet for years in my shop, and it's in my eyes it's awesome, and I don't know why it doesn't move I don't know I just people just don't like that type of stuff or what but <laughs> I don't know I've had some people look at it um, you know even, said, even the guys. You know, something that is this something that guys could wear too. Yeah, it'd be a pretty brooch too. Barb said gothic, or uh, Trace Elements said Madonna would like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, let's see. I have a ton of earrings. Um. I have these crosses. Let's try this. I'm still on the crosses now for uh, Easter or Christmas. Oh, yeah. Are they silver, silver tone? They're silver tone. Um, it almost looks like it has has a little black in them. Um, Are they pierced earrings? Pierced ears. They're uh, post. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and the majority that I, of earrings that I have now, except for the two that I just showed, with that was uh, clips. Those two are the only ones that were clips. Everything else is uh, pierced. And I have these big, big stone emerald 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I like those. Yeah, they're nice. Are they clips, did you say? No, these are not clips. These are uh, posts. Okay. Here's. Bonnie wants to know if anybody has sold anything to anybody famous. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know of. <laughs> Listen, you know what? You probably won't know this because you're not from Houston, Texas, but there is a lawyer here named Jim Adler. And one time he bought a book from me that he wrote. And so, oh um, yeah, and I wow. mailed it to him and I was thinking, oh my gosh, you know, if I was a crook type person, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would kill to have his address, right? I mean, literally. <laughs> you know, he's a tough, smart lawyer. Oh. I just sold to a, um, a prop I've sold to a few prop places and then uh, the one time I, I actually got enough nerve to ask what, what they were going to do or whatever with it and they said they were it was going to be on a TV show and they told me what it was and everything but um, I never did see it so it was like a sun catcher and it was going to be on the show The Affair. Oh, I love that show. <laughs> Yeah. They have nice jewelry on there. <laughs> what is it called? I've never seen yeah, it. It's there. Okay. It's HBO. <laughs> it was going to be in the in the window. and they. The, the, oh, I remember you talking about that. People we're going to be talking in the kitchen or something. Whatever. Okay. Did you ever go see it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have, I didn't have the, the channel that it came on. So oh, I okay. Think. And I have these, uh, Kind of like a pale green post, you know, they're, they're pierced earrings. They've been on my uh, watch list. You know, somebody's been, somebody put it on their watch list for the mm -hmm. longest time, but they just, you know, it just does, doesn't go. They're <laughs> really go elegant. High. Sometimes I'll put something on a watch list if I have something that I want to sell that's kind of similar to it so that I can see how they listed it and what they might have, uh, what descriptors they might have used, et cetera. So there's all kinds of reasons why somebody Yeah, I do that too. Something. Unfortunately, I know that makes me mad too, but watch list watchers, you can't even, you can't even go by that. Yeah, well, I noticed a lot of my stuff that, that, that um, are people that are putting stuff on their watch list um, are, do actually do sell eventually. These are uh, kind of like a half loop. Oh, those are the ones I was looking at. I like those. Are they enamel? Um, feminine. I so, yeah. They're like pale, uh, or like cream colored enamel, and then they have those pink, little, little pink dots. Pale pink uh, cabochons. They're very cute. I like them. So were those I, pierced? I'm sorry. Yeah, they're all pierced. Okay. Then I have somebody has these on my on, on their watch it's and it's I, <laughs> I love those. I love lions. Those are really pretty. Yeah. Now there are some uh, designers that um, do those, uh, like uh, Kenneth J. Lane, and those are kind of pieces you want to look out for. Okay. Um, we do have a question in the chat from Aaron Marcus. He asks, do clip-ons sell better than pierced? It seems that clip-ons would target a bigger audience. I would think pierced would be better. Not too many people would wear clip-ons these days. I right. sell more clips than I do pierced. Do you really? Mm -hmm. I don't really have enough earrings listed to, to really be able to tell. I guess because earrings are my thing, they're my favorite thing, and my shop is just full of earrings. So, <laughs> so uh, clip-on earrings sell really well on Etsy then? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, depending on the once yeah i just sold a pair of pierced ones yesterday though so you know yeah. they do sell too ray says clips are the bomb 
And I will tell you, I've been separating my jewelry and like from the pierced from the clips and a lot of the clip, the clip on earrings are just, they're what, they're more elegant. They yeah. have more, um, what's Sorry. the word I'm looking? Yes, you know. And then I have these, they kind of like have um, rhinestones coming down and then pearls at the bottom. They're cute. They'd be nice for Christmas and holiday wear. Yep. And then the next one I have is, uh, I'll have to find my own the bear, the second one. But it's a snake. A rhinestone snake. Oh, that's nice. Is that a pendant? No, it's a earring. I do oh, have the other oh, I just can't find it. <laughs> Those look fun. Yeah. Oh, there's there's the other one. Oh, I see now. Those are really cute. Yeah, they are cute. I'm, I know they would sell them, Etsy. Okay, so maybe I need to get all this stuff over on Etsy then. <laughs> <laughs> right? I just have to make sure it's old enough. Yeah. Just over there. And I don't know whether I showed this or not. This is a uh, bracelet. It says, mm -hmm. I love you on it. I love you too. Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you weren't talking. No. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I love you anyway. Okay. You know, I thought these really pretty. pretty cool. They're like a fuchsia. Fuchsia. Um, brown. Pierced. Yeah, they're pretty. They look classic 80s. Yep. And I thought these were kind of cute. <laughs> Dragonflies. Oh, yeah, I love those. Yes, somebody should buy those. That'd also be good evening wear. I feel like you could wear those with a, a pretty black dress. Yep. Or uh, New Year's is coming up. Yeah. You need to get our stuff. I thought these were awesome. Little owl, owls. That'd be great oh. for. Oh, they are cute. And then I have bow ties. At least I think they are bow ties. They might be butterflies. I don't know. <laughs> they're green. They're cute. Yeah, they're butterflies. They are cute. Oh, uh, yeah. Love, love, love those. <laughs> are these ones that are in your store or you haven't listed yet? They're all listed. Oh, they're all listed? They're, That's they're awesome. all listed. So if you see something you like, go for it. <laughs> Donna, we have time for about um, one or two more pieces. Okay. If you have them. Okay. I'm kind of running, running down here. Let's see. I have... These probably gonna get axed for these. Um, stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, lime uh, rhinestone. It's kind of hard to show. Um, rhinestone <laughs> bracelets. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they stretch. I um, love stretchy rhinestone bracelets. You know, I mean, those would be really good for girls going to prom and. Um, you know, you can get a lot of bang for your buck with those because you can have a pretty elegant piece, but um, doesn't cost a lot. Right. And you're getting um, all four of them. Mm -hmm. If you wear all four of them, it looks, you know, you're, you've got something fancy going on. Yeah. I mean, you can't just wear one stretchy bracelet. you got to. No, like, it's just, oh, you, you just can't. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Right. I do all the time. <laughs> That's all I kind of have. Um, I mean, there's more stuff in the store. Um, I mean, there's, I also have a whole other set of, of silver round earrings, but I had no clue how to even describe them. 
Right. You mean you have like a whole bunch of them? I have a whole bunch. Oh, I don't know what the bag is. It's, um, they're kind of like um, oblong and they're silver and they're all pierced. I must have a good maybe 30 to 50 of them that I you know picked up. But as far as trying to describe them and, and measure them and that whole thing, it's um, kind of holding off on them. Um, I am um, going to be doing the uh, Mothership Products auction in March. Awesome. It's going to be in a jewelry jar or some kind of package, <laughs> surprise package. I've been watching. <laughs> yeah, we love to so. show. <laughs> or if you don't want to do that and you want to sell them on eBay, I was going to say you should post them in our jewelry group, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And, you know, you could get some ideas from okay. the members of um, adjectives or keywords that you could use if you wanted to list them on eBay. Okay. Okay. So, um, other than that, I'm, I kind of like showed you everything. Okay. Awesome. Well, we really enjoyed seeing all your pieces. Oh, and I'm impressed that they're all already listed. That's great. They're all listed. <laughs> so go and buy. <laughs> well, they're okay. certainly good prices. And thanks, thanks a lot for showing us. You're welcome. Definitely, and I'd like to invite everybody to go and subscribe to Donna's channel. She is the um, Cat's Meow here on YouTube, and the uh, link for her channel is in the description box down below, as well as Monica's and Angie's. So um, it is my hope that you guys will all go and subscribe to these ladies. And let's see what else. I told you about our jewelry group, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures, on Facebook. Um, and I have to plug my jewelry box, subscription box, so if you guys would like to try that out, um, I will put the link uh, in the description box as well. Um, any, anyone else have anything they want to plug? Uh, I will be doing a video as soon as I get time. I, I have a, a couple videos I want to do. Uh, one, I want to show my car tree with my all my Hallmark cars yes, on it. Yes, I want to see that. Grumpy, yay. And uh, then I have the, the Chad cars around the bottom and some other cars, the Dwayne car and <laughs> all my friends that gave me cars. And uh, I want to do a jewelry jar as soon as I get it that I won in an auction, jewelry on jarring. And I have a friend mail. So I'm so behind. But um, <laughs> these, these things are coming. Uh, hopefully this, this week I'll be able awesome. to show them. We'll be looking forward to them, definitely. Okay, well, I guess we are done then. Thank you so much to everybody in the chat who joined us and hung out with us. And we got we will see you guys next time. Um, I don't know, Monica, do you have the schedule there by chance in front of you? That's one thing I forgot to do is to check that. I don't. Um, but we will post in the jewelry group and we will be having a show again. Uh, so we will see you guys then. Thanks so much, but guys. Bye. 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 Bye.